So do you reckon it's going to pass? Look, uh, to be honest, I really don't know. Um, I hope it does. I really hope it does. I think it would be uh, about time. But Why? What, is it, what does it mean to you if it passes? Um, well, for me, um, my partner uh, passed away in January last year. We were together for nine years. Um, he has two children. Um, because we weren't legally recognised, his family intervened and I'm not allowed to see my stepsons. Um, so if something like this had been in place, I would have had at least some legal rights to see uh, the children that I helped to raise. Um, so you have no access to them at all? No, I don't. No custodian no. rights? I've got no rights whatsoever. So. And obviously that would be against your partner's wishes? Definitely. His, um, his parents did not agree with our relationship because of the same sex. Um, it didn't matter that we loved each other. It didn't matter that we um, raised the children together. Um, yeah, this, this is something that um, is very dear to my heart. Um, it doesn't necessarily make a difference for me, but if it makes a difference for um, another couple out there, um, you know, well, the society's laws need to reflect the society's changes. Um, whether people like it or not, you know, same-sex couples are having relationships, they love each other, they're raising families um, together. We need laws to protect them. Um, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. That's all right. <laughs> what are you doing here? I am waiting to see what people say and what happens with the vote. <laughs> and what do you have to say and what do you think about the vote? Um, semi-ridiculous that people have the right to vote on other people's relationships in the first place. But, um, not even uh, talking about semantics here, we're not asking them to give up their sacred marriage word, we're simply asking for a legal recognition and a legal protection of our right to love one another. So, to deny that is to say that we don't have the same rights to love as they, as straight people do. And it is just a base denial of human rights, of human, of something that is so positive for people. What do you say to those people that reckon that a, um, a relationship is only a man and a woman because that's the way that God made them? I would say those people have a very, very narrow view of love and a very, very narrow view of relationships. Um, for starters, you have to signify what romantic love is. You have to signify what de you have to define what what it is to be in a relationship and and to place an exclusivity on that based on gender. Not only denies people who have same-sex attraction, but it also denies people who don't apply to a, uh, a binary gender concept in the first place. And so what does it mean to you if it doesn't pass? It means that the people in there aren't representing the population. They're not representing a majority of people on the streets who are in favour of this bill and more like it, even changing even more of what we're facing day to day. Um, there is so much support for the LGBT community out there and for a majority of the people, people who are supposed to represent us to deny the majority out here is insane. So what do you have to say to the, um, the 30 plus uh, LNP members that are 100% unequivocally going to vote against the, uh, the uh, civil union bill tonight? You've got rocks in your head if, if you think that there's no person in your electorate that will support this bill. With 10% of all people around Australia being gay, there has to be one person in your electorate and if you're not listening to that one person, then what's the use of you as a politician? Your job is to listen and yeah. So today I went to my Member of Parliament's uh, electric office in Warwick and I sent a message to him and I asked him uh, if he could please consider um, going against his party lines, the same party that he actually helped form. What, uh, what would you think of him, him if he ignores that one person that obviously went into his office today? What, what would you say to him if you had the chance to speak to him right now? Well, I've spoke to this person on this issue a few times and 
I've put, put it directly out to him that this is these issues that we're facing right now are issues that many places around the world scoff at, going, what are you, a third world country? We need to step up and become the full face of LGBT rights. It's as simple as that. What do you say to all those people that reckon that this is the death knell of marriage and this will destroy the basic building, building block of society, which is the family unit? I, all I have to say to them is, if they're worried about their marriage, they should go seek counselling. Someone else's marriage has nothing to do with them. Excited? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have lifts in Parliament. This is a joke. Holy hell. <laughs> How many bloody levels is this? Right to the top. I just want to take you around the Parliament. We'll end up going to have a drink in the bar so you guys can wake up. I know you've had a big couple of days, but uh, we think we're about two ahead at the moment. It's really close and uh, four of our own are voting against it. We can't afford anyone not to turn up. The LNP were a bit of a no-show on Tuesday. Uh, they'll be there in force tonight, but look, sadly and disturbingly, only one of them spoke. Only one of them had the courage to speak. You know, it's pretty pathetic. They want to lead this state they can't even get up and speak social issue that's so important. Like, you know. What do you reckon about his comments about um, the, all the lesbian gay friends that he has are, uh, are more concerned about um, economic issues rather than this, this weird issue that you guys are bringing up? Yeah, hey, look, a good government can balance social and economic priorities. A good government can look after the social needs and emotional well-being of people and balance the books. That's what you've got to do. You've got to juggle both. Uh, but it's great to see such a crowd of people here tonight. It's great to have people who are up there cheering and supporting it. It's such a historic uh, part of Queensland's history, this stuff. A really, really big change. On this day, 21 years ago, the Goss Labor government decriminalised homosexuality. Now, that was only two decades ago, and we're now debating civil unions bill. You know, we should have been doing this 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah, awesome. Well, uh, this is phenomenal. <laughs> you can hear all that clapping and stuff. That's the um, third round of applause. Um, that uh, 47 to 40 um, civil unions bills pass, and now it's Michael and I are going to have a legally recognised uh, civil union wedding, whatever you want to call it. It's um, it's insane. <sighs> I haven't slept for that long, I don't really know how to take it all in, but um, this is amazing, absolutely amazing. And it's very cool to be in Parliament House, cool to be in Parliament House toilet. We had a drink during the, um, I started to fall asleep during the uh, deliberations, there's a lot of speakers and some of them were absolutely crazy, like Dorothy Pratt, I don't know what the hell she was on, but there was some weird stuff coming out of her mouth. Um, but it's amazing, it was amazing to be here. Um, yeah, I had drinks with Anna Bly during the period where I was falling asleep. I um, got rescued by uh, the Minister for Women and Community and everything else that's good um, and uh, took us down to the, the uh, Strangers Bar and um, for someone to eat because, you know, I've forgotten how long it's been since I've eaten. Anyway, I'm just rambling because this is amazing. This is awesome. Ray, what does it mean to you, tonight's vote? It means a sense of fair play and social justice. It means that, realistically, treat like all other humans in Queensland. Did you think it was going to happen? 
I thought it was going to be close, so I was very, very scared, absolutely scared. But I, it happened. That's good. And what do you reckon this weekend is happening? Uh, I think this weekend probably a few celebrations, but probably more faith that Queensland has a great sense of social justice and fair play. Do you think this is going to add any weight to the National Labor Party conference? Um, I don't know. I hope that they also vote with their hearts and not, not their politics. That'd be good. Absolutely everything. It's equality for my gay son. It's making him equal now with his brother and his sister. It's just what about what does it mean to you? To me, as a mum, um, fairness for all the three ch children and um, very emotional night. Sorry, David. All right, <laughs> yeah. So, what do you reckon about tonight's vote? Pretty damn good. Yeah. Pretty damn good. I, I, I don't know what else I can say. It's, uh, yeah. Like you, I'm Did you think it was going to happen? Uh, for a minute there, I, I, I was a bit worried. Um, there, were, you know, there was a, a point in, in the de tonight's debate where there was a lot of um, rebuttals, and uh, especially oh, the polyamory guy. I just thought, oh boy, is this what we're going? Is, is this the road that they're going down with the, the uh, rebe uh, rebuttals? Uh, yeah, I was worried. But uh, after Grace and that came in and said hello to us, because uh, we were in the uh, other room, and uh, she's, yeah, they were pretty confident that it was in the bag. Excellent. And so what does it mean for you tomorrow? Like, you're going to wake up in the morning, is anything going to be different for you? Uh, one, one, you know, it's like baby steps, you know, one step forward. So uh, it, it just shows that uh, it, it is getting better. And uh, bringing on marriage equality, that's the next big... Uh, now he needs a husband, right? Yeah, that's, you know it. <laughs> Uh, you're the uh, the man that organised the rally before tonight's vote. Why did you do it? I did it because I strongly believe that civil unions are a good step towards full marriage equality, and I'm off to Sydney tomorrow to uh, ensure that. As a party, we, we uh, move a motion that supports marriage equality and that the Australian Parliament enacts that as law. So for you, this civil unions at a state level is just the stepping stone, it's the softening up for the federal labour? It's just a step in the right direction for my liking. Until we have full marriage equality, we don't have equal rights. And how does it make you feel that Queensland has said 47 to 40? That, um, we probably should. Oh, very proud. We're on the right track. We'll get there. Won't be long. And what do you have to say to uh, all of those members on both sides of the House that um, voted against? See you on election day. Yes, It's amazing. It's amazing to be there when um, history was made. It's phenomenal. Very good outcome. Very exciting. Very exciting. Look how excited we are. He's been working like a dog, flown up from bloody Newcastle. I'm just soft. This is amazing, absolutely amazing. Now we get married. Yeah, now we get married. It's tomorrow. real. Tomorrow. Hang on, tomorrow. Right. We'll have to plan it. You gotta think about things. We want a lamb on the spit, see? Eh? Just gotta convince uh, parents that we can have it at the farm. Do you reckon they'll say yes? Hopefully. Hopefully. Quite funny, isn't it? You know, getting Parliament to say yes to uh, <laughs> civil a, unions is, is a piece of cake. You better. Mum and Dad going, yeah, yeah, we we love you, son. Of course, we want you to have your happiness and share it with the family here on the farm. Who knows? I never thought tonight would happen, so you never know. Don't discount amazing people and amazing things happening.